McCall's 8500 is a vintage pattern from the 1980s and I'm interested in making the long jumpsuit here. What I love about this pattern is it is reversible. So you have this crossover portion here. You can wear this crossover in the front like the model has here or you can turn the garment around and wear this crossover portion in the back like you see it here. The pattern is rated as easy and it does call for knit fabrics. I'm going to be using this gray knit fabric here. The short jumpsuit and the long jumpsuit call for six pattern pieces. There are gathers that will go around the top edge of the waist. The pattern also calls for shoulder pads, which I plan to leave out. I ended up adding three inches to the sleeve just so that I could lengthen it a little bit. Right now I have the front pieces on top of the back piece. So you have the pointy edges down here and the directions say to go ahead and stitch up the sides and then to also stitch up the shoulder edges. There are facings that go around the neck edge and I'm using a stretch interfacing for those facings. The facing goes all around the neck edge. You have the two front facings and then you have a back facing. And then the sleeves are finished with a narrow hem. So I'm gonna go ahead and stitch the facing on. Here is the front all finished. I did do some top stitching to keep the facing down. That's per the directions. Now I have the front, only the front two pieces, this front and this front. They are pinned together and then I'm going to go around the edges and baste. So the back is left free. I did cut out a size six and right now I'm working on the pants. I'm just pinning the inside leg edges. And then after that, it'll be time to attach the top to the pants after I add the gathering around the waist. So this is not taking very long at all. And I cannot wait to try it on to see how it turns out. It's time to go ahead and add the gathering stitches. So I'm going to add a set of gathers here and here. And then same thing for the back, a set of gathers here and here for a total of four sets of gathering stitches. I decided to stop in Victoria's Secret and I did pick up a bra. I noticed sometimes when I'm wearing my undergarments, I'll see like a ridge, you know, the top of the bra and I'd rather have a smooth look. So I was like, let me go and look for a bra that will give me a smooth look. So that's what I got from Victoria's Secret. And I'm wearing the newest jumpsuit and I've been wearing it with the crisscross in the front and I really like it. It's very, very comfortable. I do miss having pockets. I find myself reaching for pockets. So that is something that the jumpsuit doesn't have. But other than that, I would definitely recommend this pattern. So I made these overalls, which is this simplicity pattern, 9590. And then I made this shirt out of some scrap fabric and this is Butterick 6296. And I was in my closet and I put this shirt under the overalls and I was like, oh, I may be able to wear these together. I haven't tried it on yet, but this is what I'm thinking and I need to really press this. But yeah, I'm gonna try this on and if it looks cute together, I think I'm gonna wear this today. Now that I have it on together, I'm not that crazy about it. 
I thought I had something going. So I think I'm gonna wear the overalls, but I'm just gonna wear it with something else. I paired this simplicity top under the overalls and I think I'm gonna wear this. I like this much better. I just walked into the LA Fair and I went through the metal detector and it made a noise and the gentleman said it must be my uh, buckles on my overalls. I just came back from Target, so I have several bags in my trunk that I need to take in the house. As soon as I came out here to get the bags, I realized I forgot mouthwash. Oh my goodness, I've been wanting to get some mouthwash for a while. I can't believe I forgot it. I'm gonna show you what I picked up from Target. I just wanna make sure I put mouthwash on my list so that I won't forget it the next time. Okay. I picked up a pack of turkey sausage. Some tofurkey. I think I'm gonna eat this today. I'm gonna make a sandwich. And I bought tomatoes and lettuce for the sandwich. And these kind bars for snacks. Some Prego, I got two jars because I needed some more. And some penne pasta. And then I saw this from Tabitha Brown. So I thought I would try these. These might be good in the air fryer, so we'll see. Then I got some flour. I love baking and I needed some more flour. This formula 409 is really good. It removes 100% of grease and grime. I love this. I use this in the kitchen. Grapes. Then I picked up this really cute baby colander. I was like, I could put strawberries in here to rinse them off before I cut them or I don't know, other fruits. That's what I had in mind. I think that's so cute. Bought some syrup. Next, I picked up this glass measuring cup and I love it because it is glass. So I can put it in the microwave and melt things if I need to. I picked up this sugar-free classic caramel syrup. I like to put this in smoothies. I love this glass cleaner. Some non-dairy hot chocolate mix. These mixing bowls, they're stainless steel and there's a set of three of them and this is how it looks. They came in different colors and I just got this gray. The last thing I picked up was this pure vanilla extract. I rinsed off my strawberries and I put them in this little baby colander. Oh my goodness, it's just the cutest little thing. They just fit in here all perfect and everything. <laughs> 